just using these two jaws, I'm going to move the work over, uh, 94 thousandths. And back that up. Make sure these are snug. Okay. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll center drill and drill an eighth inch hole. All right, so now I'm gonna uh, put a little center drill mark and drill a sixteenth of an inch hole uh, in. That'll be for the uh, piston rod, and then I'll turn down the um, a quarter inch diameter boss. Okay, so now I just got to turn this down to a quarter inch diameter for a length of, uh, I believe, 330 seconds. No, that's 530 seconds. So I got about another hundred thousandths to go on this diameter here. This has got to be quarter inch, as I said before. So. Now I made this a little longer so I could take a, a little test cut here and see. Two fifty-six. Check that again. 257. Fifty one and a half. I'm calling that good. Okay, now this length here is got to be, uh, I believe, five thirty seconds of an inch, which is about a hundred and fifty six thousand. So let's see what that is. Uh, we got to go in a bit on that. So we could take some of that off. Good enough. All right, 155.
Okay, so now I'm done in the four jaw chuck. I'm going to do the rest of this in the mill. Um, I'm going to replace this. I'll put this uh, piece back in my three jaw chuck. chuck um, cut this off. But I want to leave enough that I could hold it in the milling machine because I want to pick up the high spot on this. I'll bring you back later and I'll explain what I'm going to do. All right, I parted off the piece and I left some extra so I could hold it in the V blocks here. So I took my quarter inch drill bit, uh, my sixteenth of an inch drill bit, and chucked it up in the chuck here, and I used it as a pilot and swung this back and forth until I got the high spot with a dial indicator. Then I locked it down with the V-blocks here. I moved the table back, 250 thousandths. Now I'm going to center drill and drill with a 964 drill bit. Right, now I'm going to go back up to the center line and I got to drill two holes. I got to come back up here. I uh, believe that is 530 seconds up will take me to the center line and I got to come over across uh, to drill two holes for the two cylinder head bolts, screws. So I'll bring you back in a minute or two for that. All right, I just want to show you what I did with this. Um, I set my dial indicator up as a, a travel indicator for the Y-axis here. I didn't want to have to deal with uh, the backlash in the uh, in the lead screw here. So when I had set that up with the pilot I had zeroed out my dial indicator here and I moved the table 250 thousandths of an inch in quarter of an inch so now I got to go back to the center line of this which is 530 seconds which is 156 thousandths so now I'm going to watch my dial indicator and I'll come back 156 thousandths so that's 100 150 and 6. So let me lock the table and now I'm going to reposition it because I don't have to do the same thing with the Y with the X axis. I'm going to have to go over. I'm going to have to go over and then back. Let me show you. So I'm going to have to drill a hole on this side and on this side. So right now it's on the center. So rather than having to deal with the backlash in the lead screw, I'll just move my dial indicator over and pick up the x-axis here. So I'll bring you back in a minute or two. Okay, so I'm going to move this 
11 64ths of an inch in one direction and then back in the other direction so I got the x-axis I'm sorry I got the y-axis locked down I'm just going to use the I'm just going to move the table in the x direction now so I'm going to go a hundred and seventy two thousandths over so that's one hundred and seventy two right there and I'll lock that and I'll center drill. Let me make sure you're in the frame here. There we go. Now just getting you in focus. Okay, so I'm going to center drill and drill with a 330 seconds. Okay, now I'll bring the table back and go 172 the other way. So that's back on center. And it's 100, 150. 60, 70, 2.
Okay, so all the holes are drilled on this. All that's left is I just got to put this back in the uh, lathe and turn this down to a sixteenth uh, thickness. And um, that's got to get reduced down to five-eighths of an inch in diameter. All right, I'll see you back in a little while. Okay, so the head is done. What I did was I, um, I put this in a collet on the lathe and faced this down to a sixteenth of an inch here. And the only thing left is uh, this is going to get turned down to five-eighths diameter. But I'm going to make the cylinder itself out of the half-inch hex stock. And once this is on, I could put the whole thing in the three-jaw chuck and then turn this down. Because it's got to be on the center line of the whole piece. So there's no way for me to hold that now. So, okay. So, I uh, guess the, when I see you again, uh, we'll be working on the cylinder itself. Alright, thanks for watching.